Hello. Today we are going to make Russian ABC's letter J. And also the same sculpture represents star or snowflake. Inflate a balloon leaving about 8 inch flat tail. Twist the chain of the first two soft about 1 inch bubbles. Lock both ends of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the center part of our sculpture. Basically, we work this sculpture in the same fashion as we did previously English letter X. Twist the third about 2 inch bubble. Twist the fourth soft about 1 inch bubble. Twist the fifth 1 inch bubble. Twist the sixth soft about 1 inch bubble. Twist the seventh about 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 5 bubbles in one lock twist. The fifth bubble we twisted is a pop-up bubble. We will cut the fifth bubble later. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Now we lock both ends of the sixth bubble in one lock twist. The long bubbles of this chain uh, will represent a uh, middle line of letter J. Twist the eighth two and half inch long bubble. Twist the ninth soft one inch bubble. Twist the tenth one inch bubble. Twist the eleventh soft about one inch bubble. Twist the twelfth about two and a half inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. The chain of the next five bubbles is going to be the same size as uh, the chain of the last five bubbles. Now let's lock both ends of the ninth bubble in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the eleventh bubble in one lock twist. So far so good. Let's twist the thirteenth two and a half inch long bubble. Twist the fourteenth soft about one inch bubble. Twist the fifteenth one inch bubble. Twist the sixteenth soft about one inch bubble. And now we twist the seventeenth. Two and a half inch long bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. I use one balloon to make this size sculpture. To make a larger size sculpture, obviously you have to use more than one balloon. At this point, our sculpture looks a bit like a leaf or a ball. I'm just fixing bubbles for you to get better view on our sculpture. All right, uh, let's uh, lock both ends of the 14th bubble in one lock twist. And now we lock both ends of the 16th bubble in one lock twist. So it takes total of 17 bubbles to make our sculpture. And now uh, we need to use uh, scissors and uh, sewing thread to finish our work on this sculpture. Okay, uh, let's use a scissors to cut off the rest of the balloon. Tie off the end. Hide it between bubbles of the sculpture. There are three pop-up bubbles that we have to cut. But uh, first, uh, let's use sewing thread uh, to secure one inch bubbles. Just uh, loop the sewing thread around uh, ends of uh, one inch bubbles once or a couple times. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to do it around each one inch bubble. In this example, I'm using a black color uh, sewing thread. Same color as the background where I'm going to place the sculpture. It makes the sewing thread almost uh, invisible. I secure bubbles uh, using sewing thread to prevent untwisting. Okay, uh, once we secure all six uh, one inch bubbles, we can use scissors to cut off the sewing thread and um, also to cut uh, the pop up bubbles. You can uh, hide the long ends of sewing thread uh, between the bubbles. I prefer to use scissors to trim off the long hands of sewing threads. It takes less time than hiding between bubbles, right? Okay, so far so good. Now, let's uh, use scissors to 
uh, cut pop-up bubbles. I always uh, pull bubbles apart slightly before I cut uh, the pop-up bubble with scissors. All right, uh, here we have made the middle line of uh, letter J. I use shorter, slightly shorter bubbles to represent the middle line. And I use uh, longer bubbles, two and a half inch longer bubbles, uh, to represent the side lines. All right, it looks like we have made our sculpture. Okay, uh, here are a couple loose ends of sewing three that I want to trim. In this example, I want to make just one sculpture, letter G. Obviously, uh, we can use the same sculpture, work in the same fashion, basically, to make snowflake. Um, or we can use it uh, as a base to make um, 3D star. To make 3D star in the simplest form. All it takes is just um, you have to make letter X same size as our sculpture and attach it at the center of our sculpture. All right, uh, now I'm going to use the same color sewing thread uh, to fix ends of our sculpture in proper positions. Once again, we have to loop uh, the sewing thread around one inch bubbles. Let's bring uh, the ends of our sculpture closer to each other at the top of our sculpture. And then we do the same uh, at the bottom. Bring the ends of uh, our sculpture closer to each other. And we can use the same sewing thread to attach uh, different letters uh, to each other to make uh, words. And then we can use a um, clear sticky tape to attach our sculpture to wall. Or we can uh, suspend uh, the sculpture in the middle of air. All right, congratulations. We have made the Russian letter G. And also we can use the same sculpture to represent snowflake, star, 3D star, and some other sculptures. Have fun and happy twisting.